And one thing for sure is he didn't check his mirror because I wasn't in his blind spot. I was just right behind him and he just cut out right in front of me. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel Something really scary happened to me yesterday when I'm riding my bike on the road I had a near miss accident I would say it's an incident, it's not an accident because it was a near miss So first, I'd like to say I wasn't speeding I was doing lane splitting and a car just cut right in front of me there was no reaction time at all then I have to do an e-brake to avoid hitting the car and luckily I have my helmet cam with me and here's the video As you guys can see how close it was At the point of time I was doing about 60 km per hour Because I was exiting the highway And I knew there would be this kind of driver Who always did a last minute exit or last minute lane change So if I were to ride a lot more faster I'm sure I would have crashed into him And luckily there's no contact between my bike and his car and I didn't feel there's any impact between both of our vehicles and right now I'm still in a state of shockness and I couldn't believe that has happened to me That's why a lot of people have been saying, you know, riding is dangerous Even if you are, you know, careful If you are riding really safe on the road Other road users, they might not be, you know, as careful as you are So that's the reason why right now I'm heading to the accident reporting workshop To report my incident Alright, I'm about to reach Yup, so that's the workshop Optimal works Okay, so this is a one way How am I supposed to get there? Probably I have to Make a big turn around the building Holy Where are the wheels? Damn! Oh my god, this is bad man! Oh! Oh shit, this is burnt! <laughs> okay... Can I turn right? Yeah! Let's make a right turn Okay, I 
think I'm gonna stop here. Wow. Yeah, so this is one of the accident reporting workshop. So the insurance company that I have insured with, they don't have the online accident reporting platform. We have to visit the car workshop to report the accident or incident. And as I have mentioned earlier, I don't think there was any impact between both of our vehicles as there are no damages on my bike yep so right now i'll be heading in to do all the necessary reporting and i will continue the vlog later all right guys everything's done photos were taken statement and incident reporting were taken down too and I've spent so much time inside the office it's like a waste of time can I go? yeah okay Earlier, I've asked the guy who is in charge of this incident reporting. He mentioned that this kind of incident or accident, if the accident were to happen, usually these kind of cases will be 50 50, which means I have to bear my own repair costs and he has to repair his own vehicle at his own cost. And luckily, there are no damages on both of our vehicle let's say if the accident were to happen I will need to fork out my own cash to repair my bike because my bike insurance is under the third party fire and theft I couldn't purchase the comprehensive insurance because the insurance company that I insured with they don't insure vehicle that is more than 10 years old so my R6 coverage is only fire, theft and also damages to the third party property like you know the other party vehicle and this incident you know can be avoided you know if he were to signal his intention earlier I will definitely give way to him because the location where the incident happened is very close to the exit point and I'm sure he won't have enough time to change lane to avoid the exit lane and one thing for sure is he didn't check his mirror because I wasn't in his blind spot I was just right behind him and he just cut out right in front of me the reaction time I would say is zero for me and one of the reasons why I've decided to go to the accident reporting workshop is that after the incident the driver just you know drive away he didn't even like get down his vehicle and check for damages I'm also not sure whether Will he report me, you know, for hit and run as there are no particulars exchange but luckily I have my helmet can with me so the incidents were being recorded down and every time when I'm out on the road I will always try my best to have my helmet can with me you know, in case of uh, unforeseen accident or incident and today I have to take a day off just to go to the workshop for incident reporting it's really a waste of my time so please continue to ride safe on the road there are more and more careless driver on the road and this is not the first time I've experienced this so whatever you do on the road 
just ride safely and ride defensively yeah that's all for today's video i'll see you guys in the next one stay safe ride safe and bye